Hey everybody, welcome back. In this episode, what I'm doing is I'm going to be decorating the inside of my insert. Now, I went for my walk this morning as usual, and what I've done is I've picked up a few things on my way, and I think I'm gonna call myself a magpie from now on, because I see a lot of things on my walks, and I just have to pick them up. I'm not sure why. You know how a magpie just comes and goes and sees things and picks them up? It's either that or a mermaid, I'm not sure. But, um, so, this is what I picked up this morning. So I'm going to um, try to incorporate uh, one of these into my book. Another thing that I picked up on my walk this morning was the sprig of eucalyptus leaves. So I'd love to be able to incorporate that. I'm going with a the theme of uh, like, this is your little adventure booklet. Um, that anything that catches your eye, you're going to pick up a little bit and you're going to stick it in to remind you of where you've been and um, what you, what, what, how it's inspired you, basically. Another thing that I've been picking up, and I've got a series coming up um, in 2019, is some flowers. So this is one of the flowers that I picked up. It sort of looks like this when it's, when it's um, in the field. Um, now this has been picked a few days ago so it's starting to close up but um, I have dried it and I do have um, and I will share my method of how to dry with everybody um, but this is one that I picked on the same day and I've dried it so it's already um, it's already been dried in a very short amount of time so this is another thing that I picked similarly with this one. This is a beautiful bougainvillea, um, and I love these. I don't know what these are called. Like I almost want to call them like a silver fox. I don't know if it is a silver fox though, so don't like listen to me, but I always call it like a silver fox. So I love this silver leaf foliage. So I have already dried this as well. So I'm hoping to use you know, one or all of these, like, so this is this basically in real flower. And I've always wanted to have a little flower journal, which is what I'm working on. I'm coming up in the future. So this is beautiful. Um, this is also a sprig of jasmine. So that's been flattened and dried that I picked up. And lastly, my morning tea. So I thought, oh, I'd love to, I'd love to, in, you know, include that in my booklet because this is, you know, something Australian. It is something in my everyday life. So I'm gonna pick this and maybe stamp on the tea bag. I haven't done uh, tea bag art in a few good months, so it's almost time. I feel like I've missed it, so I'll take that out. So yeah, I've got a few prompts here, so I'm hoping that will fill up some of my insert, and um, I hope you enjoy what's coming up next. So I'm going to start off with this little die that I have of Australia. I got sent this die last year by one of my friends. I um, love this die. And what I did was I cut it out of black cardstock and craft cardstock. And then I interchanged the middle so that it was just a little bit more obvious. And I think I decided to go for the craft Australia with the black insert. And I kind of love that look. Um, what I'm doing is I'm adding the Good Day Mate uh, little uh, embellishment at the top there and then I'm using two of my dried flowers just at the bottom there. I think this is just a gorgeous start to this insert. I was thinking that I would add stamp some of that crackle sort of, sort of texture in the background there because sometimes I'm not very comfortable with white space but I did decide to use some of the washi from the November kit plus I have this like check grid washi that I added at the top and at the bottom and I felt like that kind of covered the white space um, and I was happy with that. What I'm doing now is I'm just adding a little bit of uh, PVA glue around the dried flowers because I didn't want them to dry and then flake off a little later on. I wanted them to stay in the insert and not flake off. So uh, that's what I did there. And what I will do a little bit later on is grab some PVA glue and then just run it along the washi because sometimes you know how washi peels up. What I'm also doing is grabbing my uh, wood stamps and I'm just 
printing November 2018. Uh, sometimes I don't like my work with these stamps. You, I always get ink on the edges, but I'm just trying to let it be. Now, what I'm doing, I didn't think I was going to do this, but it just came to me there and then, so I thought, okay, let's go with it. So I'm, I've got some of this craft cardstock that was sitting on the right, and I thought, you know, why not put like a little folder on the left hand side here at the beginning of the insert. That way you can just add feathers, stickers, anything that you pick up, you could just slip into this little pocket. And so what I did was I uh, used my double-sided tape there, as you saw, and I just drew a, a like a half circle and cut that shape out. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how I add slits to my folders. I'm using the grid from the Tim Holtz mat and uh, I'm using my blade. I use a steel ruler because I've used my plastic ruler and I've always eaten into it. So just really carefully you just go back and forth and yeah, you and it's all by eye. Uh, it's something that is quite intuitive. If you want it a little bit longer, do it a little bit longer. It's just really important that you make sure that the two sides are level, which is why this Tim Holtz glass mat is really good. You're just able to uh, align your ruler on either side of your work and get a straight line. And yeah, it's one square high. And I just made sure that I gave enough room so that the paper clip can go in. All right, and once that's dry, I am grabbing some used stamps here. So I usually collect these stamps when I get mail. I thought it would be really lovely to put Australian stamps uh, just at the very front cover there so every time you opened your insert, um, I have this thing for stamps, I love stamps. And this is a, a Australian flora collection so I'm going to add that to the front folders so that I always see these stamps when I open up my insert. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up these pages into small bite-sized pieces so that you don't have too long a video to sit and watch. So please join me for my next video where I'll be decorating the next layout. See you then.